So uh, this evening, within the last few minutes, I had an opportunity to meet a young professional black man in line in the Dollar Tree, and he was very loving and kind and offered to pay for me a few things. I can see now that he's out in the parking lot in a, it looks like a U-Haul truck and panel truck, so maybe he's a person who's actually planning on moving, it's hard to say. I guess I'd like to say to you that people can be loving and kind in line, but it's very hard sometimes to decline when you really have enough money to pay for you. But I also realize that they are trying to bless people and pay it forward, and for that it's usually young black men who have proven in my lifetime to be the most loving and kind across this crazy stage and interesting aspect of being homeless today. In life we have moments of time to talk about what's what and who's who and openly it's sort of interesting that the man who is just slowly leaving looks a heck of a lot like me and was walking very slowly. What I know about look-alike games is they like to put people in communities to pretend to be other people to take advantage of their intellectual property and their copyright identity and what I'm finding constantly happening on my computer is it looks like someone is selling off my property which isn't their right to do. When I go to now to open my actual black bag that I carry a few special things in for my family to come, I see that someone has already gotten into uh, my unit here because what I had done last night, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a little skillet and I don't usually tell people that because I do have to eat and I have to eat healthy and I can't always eat the constant cookies and other treats. I have a lot of allergies, I have a lot of gluten intolerances, and I have, quite frankly, at my age, like anyone else who's over 50, a lot of preferences. But what's supposed to be inside here is a grouping of plastic bags of literally um, the tools that run this particular unit. So as I'm looking around here, there's supposed to be some tools, and I'm gonna see where they are now because I keep them inside. The interesting thing I have to place with you as I'm kind of hunting and looking for that extra piece of material, uh, here it is, that, uh, that holds a bag that holds the controls for that little plug-in skillet, is that last evening, God said, please put it back this way so that I would be reading and establishing that in truth that something happened to it overnight. I get a little tired of people's curiosity and I certainly get a little tired of people's abuse of me. I don't have many possessions with me at this time and I'm very concerned that someone has been selling out my storage unit back home but the reality is they had no right to be in anything I own and as this little rollicator cart is uh, how I get around, it's not very fancy and it has been loaned to me by a professional employee. I have to say that I get a little tired of being abused for it. I had two other cards on campus that actually pastors donated to me, bought for me, and the people and the players and the white boys and the Catholics on campus literally obliterated the wheels. The minute I set this, sell, say this, someone will probably abuse me again and try to do this to me, but I'm not a part of your military. I'm a part of my own. Global Operation Defense is about protecting America from the liars and the people who harm me, and the truth is in life, we have to know what to do. Now if I continue in the parking lot I see that a gentleman was coming out but maybe he's picking up his daughter and that's okay. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth and while I do things and speak about things you can see that there's some employees that are leaving uh, from the parking lot from other things. In life we have moments of time to talk to people and this fella in his car that's leaving there, uh, license plate CS17 uh, looks like 804, uh, was really interested in me. Now we have a gentleman in a red car who's hanging out outside his vehicle. But And when you're being constantly abused you're always wondering who's doing it to you and you're always questioning who's doing it to you. The reality is that players play in and out of town. People do kind things and people do things in abound. And I, what I'm talking about is that people can abound other people with kindness and they can pay it forward with kindness. But if you think you're practicing financial abuse, I'd like you to stop. After I came out of the Dollar Tree to purchase something I needed for me for cooking that would not scratch my skillet, which people like to do to me. People like to play in the night. They like to do things that are trying to, in their mind, give a fright or just abuse things. and damage things and they don't have the right to do that. But as I'm speaking here talking to you, I guess I want to finish the story that a couple of black women drove up on me and tried to get my attention to play me with some cash and I refused several times because I have a little cash and I don't need cash overnight because last night people sold two dollars and some odd cents from my pockets while I was sleeping and I really don't like that. I found a lot of things out of my pockets that I didn't appreciate finding out and I don't have pockets at the present time that I'm in that would really allow that and the things I place in my pockets are perfectly for me. So I guess I don't get this community because I don't think that would happen in my old community. I don't think people would be that 
abusive. I don't think people would be that abrasive. And I certainly don't think that people would be doing things that is uh, this ridiculous shadow work and evasive.